This morning, uh, my lesson is, it's a wonderful world. I think I'm preaching to the choir again <laughs> this morning. I tell you, I, 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 I like that. You know, I, I, I like it. I, are there anyone here for the first time? So I can deal then, because we know what, we know who and what we are. Not saying that others don't, but we know that we are mighty moving powers of God in our world. And we know that we make our world, don't we? We know that we make our world individually. We are part of this grand and beautiful universe that was made. And we were made in this universe. And we were given the charge of making our world. And we make our world by our thoughts, don't we? And when I was thinking of a topic, I was thinking, you know, this is a wonderful world. This is a wonderful world. What a great world I've made. And when I think of this, I think just how thankful I am of this power. I'm thankful that I was given the, the opportunity and the responsibility to move and have my being on this plane just the way I choose it to be. Joshua talking to the children of Israel, the new nation that he took over over the sea, the, the sea that parted, that he walked through and brought them to the promised land. And once they had gotten there, some of them had taken on the idol worship, idol, idolatry, the uh, idol worship of the uh, nations that they had conquered. And Joshua said, choose you today. Choose ye today, it says in old English. Choose ye today who you will serve. That you have a choice. You can choose. You can choose the world conscious, or you can choose to be the divine consciousness, the universal consciousness, the consciousness where I am in charge of me that I can stand and say that I'm powerful and that I'm a blessing to the world. Or I can give my power away, as is Joshua talking to them now. Joshua is an old man at this time, you know, he's, he's getting ready to make his transition. And, at the, the, and the, rec the record shows that at, he was 110 when he passed away. So he, he wanted them to be clear that the promised land had been given to them, the promised land of a land of plenty, a place of plenty, a consciousness of plenty, which showed, showed them in control of themselves. And metaphorically, I, I read the Bible you know, meta, metaphorically and, 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 and uh, metaphysically. And the promised land is that place that all of us have. It's that God within, it's, the, it's that divine place that's never been touched by anything other than perfection of good, of love. And that we direct ourselves there. We take ourselves there. And this is what Joshua was telling these, <laughs> telling his people. So I want you to know that you can make this choice. But I want to let you know, but as for me and for my house, I choose the Lord. I choose the Lord. And that Lord is, the Lord is the same all the time. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Paul, the Apostle Paul, in his letter to the Romans, he uses Jesus Christ as this, Jesus the Christ, which we see Jesus, we see Jesus the man as a great example, not a great exception. 
But the Christ is the Christ consciousness, is this high consciousness that shines and beams and, and lights all of us. It's the blessing that moves through us. That makes me feel good. <laughs> it makes me feel good to be alive. But, but, but as Jesus, the great example, said, the Christ that's in me is, is also within you. And Paul saw this and, knew it, and he knew it. And as he was teaching, he said, Jesus, Jesus the Christ yesterday, Jesus the Christ today, and Jesus Christ tomorrow. It never changes. There's something, there's a promised land inside of us that never changes. It's so sweet and so beautiful. So the lesson today is talking about this is a beautiful world. That's, I'm going to see how did, I, how did I map it out. I had it mapped out. But as you know, me, I don't follow maps. <laughs> and I'm never lost. I'm, I'm never lost. Sometimes I'm with people who think I get lost sometimes. But I'm never lost. It's always an adventure. So in, 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 uh, in running this story today about a beautiful world, I would like to take my, t take my time with it because it's such a beautiful season and give you the reason I chose this topic. This time in Northern California is such a lush, rich, sweet, soothing time, beautiful, pretty with flowers. It's all encompassing. It, it's, it's as if the, to me, it's as if the divine spirit has pulled us to its bosom and said, come and rest. I think that David must have been talking about this when he said, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You know, when I look up at the hills, you, have, have you seen the hills? You know, they're, they're about as lush and as green as you're going to get them. You know, this month. But pretty soon the sun's going to come and it's going to turn them red. But now the grass has a sheen on it. And if you, if you drive through, you drive through the roads, the country roads, you see the wildflowers. There's a, in my, in my community, in my, my neighborhood, there are houses that have, have, uh, it's, it's wild, wildflowers that grow, and they're yellow. And some of them just cover their whole yard, and, and the, uh, Owners don't cut their grass, they just let them bloom. I don't know if you've seen those little, just yellow, little yellow flowers. It's so alive and so, you know, the daffodils that came out earlier, you know, they let you know, well, spring, spring is coming. And we are here first and we want to let you know. And, and, and to me, the daffodils, they make a choice. They look at the world, they step out into the world and said, well, you know, it still looks a little gray and it's, it's raining and you know, the leaves haven't come on the trees and everything seems to be sort of naked. You know, you know, and, and seem depressed. And it comes out, but it's a wonderful world and I want you to know it. Boom. And you see these little yellow flowers that come out. Well, that's, that's who we are. The daffodils made a choice and we make this choice. We have this choice every moment in our life to let spring burst out all over us. 